Good morning. It is Trail Hero Week. We should be in the shop working on our broken junk, but we're not. We're going to be out here beating on our broken junk. We're going to break it even more. I really love Trail Hero Week because I kind of check out of the shop and I just go and play with my friends in the rocks and the sand, and it's awesome. Here's one of my friends right now. Hello. While we're out here, we decided we're going to use this opportunity to do a little bit of rock crawling in these rigs. Now, Caitlin is a professional rock crawler. Her and her dad compete in We Rock competitions, which is what? What does We, we Rock stand for? World Extreme Rock Crawling. World Extreme Rock Crawling. Extreme. Extreme! She doesn't have her buggy out here today, but I think I'm gonna put her in the wrecker and have her drive up a rock. Drivers to your vehicles. So I am a total wheelie noob. I have been stuck many a time in the sand, not going up the chutes on the flat parts. The Moravere is a super capable rig, so I think this is gonna go pretty good. This wrecker is an absolute beast. I think it's gonna do good today, and so will she. <laughs> I'm supposed to go down that. You're not gonna wanna stand on your brakes on this at any point. You're gonna wanna keep forward momentum, but very slow. Perfect. Banana don't care. I get it now why you guys like this. Adrenaline, right? That was awesome. Have you been up this before? I don't think so. I've never spotted anybody through it, but I've watched things come through it. because it's just pushing it into the wall and it's not going anywhere because of all that weight. It's Let's see, right should we try to back him off? I would. Okay. Okay, stop. We can go left a little. Hey Jake, you got this. I got this. I'll spot you. Oh, okay, I feel better now. Do you know how to drive with two feet? Yes. Okay, you're driving with two feet. Watch me. I think we just plugged the exhaust. When you wheel IFS for most of your wheeling career, you learn to just gas it. Well, you sent it. All right, so I tore up my Bronco pretty bad on the last trip. Yeah! <laughs> the bumper was ripping off from the beginning. 
it's just solid plastic, but now it's falling into my tailpipe and melting and falling off. So we're gonna replace it with something better. I think that'll hold up a lot nicer and look a lot better. Greg and I are here by ourselves getting this done. What about me? Hey, we're in here for moral support. Well, let's see what That's Jamie's cool. doing. I'm polishing all the nameplates from the people that got our top tier in the app. So this is what they look like before. That's what they look like after. These are all gonna be hung in the new building because the money that we raised from this is going to build that new building. Yes, thank you everyone who helped us. Rest over there welding them up. How many more you got? 20? 20 more. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. It's just that into plastic and that's what was holding this bumper on. Look who showed up. I'm back from doing things. All right, we got all the wiring put in, mounted in place. Use some Barnes zip tie mounts. All right, let's get this on. All right. I think this Barnes bumper looks great. What do you think, Hefe? It's awesome. I'm really happy with it. With that being said, it is way past quitting time, so we're going home. All right, it's a new day. We're working on the front bumper here. Well, Hefe and Tom have been. I just walked in. Stealing all our credit, Matt. So this bumper is from Barnes too, right? Yes. Matching front and rear bumper now. Boring. We'll come back when it's exciting. So check it out. We've got the concrete truck here. They're here pouring footings for a retaining wall that we have to put in. And then we'll be able to pour footings for the building. Progress is being made. As promised, all the boring stuff is done. We're ready to mount this bumper to the Bronco. Here we go. Peanut's helping. Oh, thank you. You're so helpful. So for those of you who don't know, Caitlin is a professional rock crawler. She competes in We Rock and she doesn't just compete, she kind of dominates. <laughs> so our good buddy Rory <laughs> brought down a rig for Jamie to drive oh. in the sportsman competition. And Caitlin and I are trying to talk Jamie into doing it. She's a little hesitant. A little nervous about it. All in favor of Jamie competing, say aye. 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 And the nays, the ayes have it. Jamie? <laughs> wow. I'm like in the middle. It's an aye nay for me. Oh, the, I, the ayes have it then. I don't know. Okay, so what we've got to do is we've got to get a little bit of seat time for Jamie in the rig. So I'm gonna call Rory right now. She says she's 100% in. Well, she needs to be 105. Oh, if you want to be competitive, is that true, Caitlin? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there's no way you can lose here. You've got my support, the team, team more support, and Caitlin and Rory, and probably Mike and Sean. I can only have one spotter, though. If you can only have one spotter, you want Rory or Colt. Okay, let's put this bumper on. Oh. Where's Hefe at? Hefe's in a very important meeting. Last year we had the record games. We're changing the name to off-road games because we don't want to like buttonhole us into just like, it can only be wreckers. There will be a wrecker event, don't worry about that. But it's the off-road games and Hefe is meeting with the important dignitaries of the county to make sure that that goes off without a hitch. So we're here left on the Bronco. But tomorrow, let's see. Let's do where are we going? I'm gonna let Rory pick. All right, I'm not supposed to be talking about it, but the body lift is going away on this. We got a big old gap here, but it's gonna go away when we take the body lift off and something exciting is coming. Portals! Two colleges. Jamie, you've done it before, why are you so worried? I'm seriously sick to my stomach. I'm gonna be sick until I do it. All you're doing is driving. In front of people so that are gonna be judging me. You do that all the time. <laughs> but it was a couple of years ago on the X yeah. day, right? You're competing where? Is it? In, it's where? in Farmington, New Mexico. Farmington, New Mexico. She's up on top of this thing, drives around, and then it rolls. And I don't know how many times it rolled, but it went clear to the bottom. It didn't land upside down? It landed on its roof and then rolled over to the passenger side. The first words out of her mouth was, Somebody okay. better have gotten that on video! <laughs> but then just recently you... Yeah, I've... See, it's not that I've had scary. a few rolls in my life. <laughs> yeah. 
I think this bumper is going to look really good once we get rid of the body lift. We've also got a new mile marker winch in here that we're going to give a try. This is their new Mission Series winch. I think that looks really good in there. I like yeah. it with the bumper. Fits good in there. So Hefe wanted to see if this mile marker was as good as the Badlands Apex. Who knows? They're both 12,000 pound winches, so it'll be a good comparison. All right, we're headed out to Trail Hero. We're gonna meet up with Rory. We're gonna put Jamie in a buggy and get her some seat time, because she's competing in the rock crawling event, sportsman class. I don't know all the designations. All I know is we're gonna be getting her in a buggy this morning and putting her through some paces. But first, we gotta stop and get a helmet. I'm still pretty nervous, so hopefully today, will help knock that anxiety down a little bit. Should she be nervous? No, not at all. It has to be a DOT helmet or else I'd have her wear that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so these are the, this is the bike section. Where's the motorcycle section? Oh, that looks good. Shiny. That one's gonna work. Caitlin, how old were you when you did your first rock crawling competition? I was about 12 when I first competed in Delta in our friend's Durango. And then oh. I was 13 when I competed for the first time in my dad's XJ. So the plan here is for Caitlin to give Jamie all the pointers that she can, and then Rory's gonna give all the pointers he can, and when the day's over, Jamie's gonna be pro. So I'm Chris's spotter today. She's a little bit nervous, but after the first obstacle, she'll be like, okay. I haven't <laughs> lost a rig yet. Oh, okay. And you know who to call. Yeah. If I flip it. I saw Rory's record down there on the trailer. Yeah, okay. I don't even need the spotter. She knows exactly what she's doing. If you feel it going through the brakes, Put it in neutral. <laughs> Pretty impressive drop off here. So you're gonna go straight for a minute and then turn into it. <laughs> How is this gonna get excited if Rory keeps spotting her? So this is impossible. It's exactly All right. two Rory's tall. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the difference was I didn't need a spotter. I can do it. I'm just going to keep listening to Rory. I've said it before. If I had to pick a spotter to save my life, Rory would be my first choice. If he wasn't available, it would be Colt. And that's the only two <laughs> spotters I know. Paul's a good spotter, but Paul doesn't care if you roll. Big thanks to Rory for bringing this buggy down and offering to let Jamie run it and come out and show her how to drive it. It was I lots of fun. I didn't show her much. I just told her where to turn the wheel. She's a pretty good driver. She I is. need that. She's though. a very I good need driver. That. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, we're going to go get tacos. Rory's going to go do a job. And then tomorrow, Jamie's going to drive and dodge some cones. Okay, let's go get some tacos. Sweet. Me and Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you. Thanks to our tech, we got delicious tacos today. These are pretty good tacos. 
This has been a crazy morning. We uh, went out this morning to go and get the Yukon thrown. Matt took the, the wrecker and I was following behind with Colby in a Can-Am. And we, we picked it up and on the way out we found one of the Hummer tour guys was broke down. So we assessed what he needed. We're gonna go get some tools and stuff to fix him later today, I think. And then the Can-Am threw a belt on the way out. So belt came apart on us, it was dead. So we all rode out in the wrecker. Jamie had a rock crawling meeting, or competition meeting. I don't know, yep. Jamie had to go somewhere. So she's out of there. Now I'm here with Jake and we are gonna go back and try and fix the Can-Am. We're told that it had a belt and a toolkit on it. We didn't have time to look for that or do that before. We're gonna go back and figure it out. I've never changed one of those. We'll see if we can do this. There she is. We watched 30 seconds of a video. I think this is our problem. We got to find the tools first though, and the belt. So let's look around. All right. Two belts. Look at that. We got options. Okay. We got to find some tools somewhere though. <laughs> There's got to be a secret compartment. If I were a tool. A glove box or a catch-all? Okay. I think we're in luck. Look at that, little Hi. surgeon's kit. <laughs> That's a big one. Okay, this thing's back together. It should run. One of the things they let you do is walk the course first. So Jamie's gonna walk it and see what she has to drive over so she knows exactly how nervous she needs to be. <laughs> Matt's like, I'm not nervous at all. It's not my car. <laughs> I'm actually feeling really confident because Jamie's a really good driver. We got the Milestar sponsorship and also sponsored by Matt's Off Road Recovery. But the main sponsor, our number one sponsor of today's event, right there. Trail Mater Off-Road Recovery. We are here at the Trail Hero We Rock Rock Crawl Competition, and this is such a fun event. Everyone that competes in the We Rock Series usually switches it up for this event. So people that were drivers are now spotters, and the spotters are now the drivers. And so I will be competing in a friend's rear steer buggy, which I have never competed in before, so that'll be super fun. I will also be spotting my dad in our buggy. It'll be a good time. So there's four different courses that we have to get through in 10 minutes. 10 so. minutes each. Not, not all four courses in 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to, unless you, and she, she yeah. might be yeah. overachieving it. It's gonna be a blast. Like I said, I've never spotted during an event. I've competed a bunch of times, but this is my first time spotting. And I've never competed or driven, so look at that. See? It's a first time for both of us. But I know how to <laughs> spot and she knows how to drive. So, you know, there we are. And I'm just taking it easy down here in the shade. Jamie's trying to figure out a strategy. I don't have one. I told her she needs to go find the other drivers in her class and intimidate them and threaten them with words. <laughs> this is the driver's meeting, so we have to listen. We're excited to come out here and it's hard to do another you know, facet of what we do with uh, competitive rock crawling. So. Caitlin has some advice for you. Listen to your spotter. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'll try. It's fine. <laughs> I'll try. I just want everyone here to know that I'm a rookie. <laughs> I can't move that far. I want to point out here. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hey, Dad's for the win. He's ready. Heck yeah. So I was feeling pretty special when they gave me a media pass, which includes this bright orange vest and a wristband. It turns out they'll let anybody in. Yeah, just anybody gets one of these. So once they say go, she has 10 minutes to complete. There's four gates here, and there's penalties for backing up. There's heavy penalties for hitting a cone, um, and it's time. She has 10 minutes to get through the course. This is nerve-wracking, holy smokes. And I can't even kibitz. Time's gone and she's made it through half of the gate. We 
We got two minutes left and we've got one more gate to go through and then we got to get out of here. This is a gnarly drop right here. good for the first time oh yeah oh that's amazing you were only timed out by like seven seconds or five yeah. seconds we were we saw all good we'll get them next time so we just got a call from the guy that owns the hummer and he's already gathered up all the stuff we need and he's there working on it so we're gonna go straight to that from what we're doing now and help him out get to the hummer so this ball joint came out of the socket yeah and uh, like we got to get it bolted back together so we got to get it pulled into place somehow. I don't have any winches. So I'm thinking about using this match rope and a soft shackle to grab that knuckle and then have a car drive and just pull. See what we can get. Okay, Jake, really slow. Okay, stop. All right, we got it aligned to get enough to get one bolt started. We're kind of winded because it took all we had. So we're gonna keep doing that and try to get one more started and then we'll just squeeze this whole thing back together with the bolts. It's not assembled right, but it'll get it off the trail. I think we're done, Jake. I think we can drive out of here. Let's do it. All right, we ran over here for Caitlin's run. Looks like they're taking the optional bonus line on this, and this line is crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a car size. Like, you could drive a car in there. And, and she's going to. So Logan let Caitlin run the buggy. She did a really good job. That was awesome. Yep. Time for Kevin. This is Caitlin's dad. Are you up next? I'm up next. Oh, so she's got to get out and she spot has you. She to get out and spot me now. So, we have to switch helmets. So Caitlin's going to be spotting, <laughs> spotting her dad here. The car she normally drives. This is my first time spotting and we recommend. Okay, I'm not going to bug you anymore the rest of this course. I've seen these events. I've like watched them from like a moderate distance, but I never did understand like all the rules. But I'll tell you, the fact that they're timed makes an, it's an urgency. So you can't take your time and get through the obstacles and think about them. You have to do them as quickly as possible or you'll time out. I'm down here filming Caitlin spotting her dad. Jamie's competing on her next course, which I think is course three. That was so fun. All right. Okay, we'll catch up later. I gotta go find Jamie. She's still on the course, I think. All right, I'm gonna find out the straight skinny from Mike here. How's it going here? It's going really well. Okay. Yeah. What well, else? This is, uh, I think, the fourth one. I'm looking for the finish line right now. Oh, awesome. Ah, nice. We finished it. Nicely done. Woohoo.
Woohoo! We finished it. Good job. All right, we were getting in line to uh, run course four. I think we're the third vehicle. But here's what's going on. Look at that. So in case you're wondering if the stakes are high, they are. We've got the recovery rig there. So Jamie, I went and looked and that is unavoidable. You're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Well, if, if Marie puts me there, then I'll go there. <laughs> what do we got? We got course four and I think it's going to be the hardest one. And this is your third one. You got one, more one, after this. got one more after this. I think number yeah. one, this one's hard, but I think number one has bigger obstacles. Really? Well, that doesn't make me any more but excited I, about getting through this. So they're planning on using a bold strategy on this one. You think that's going to work out for them? You know, there's only one way to go, and that's go big or go home. Bold okay. strategy all the way. What is the bold strategy? Well, I think they're going to back down this to oh, set them up for the next one. Back so through number one? Well, they're going to go through number one, turn around, and then back down through number two. All right. And all then right. that will leave them perfectly set up for day three. You heard it here first, folks. I approve this. Everybody's, ha <laughs> everybody's having a lot of struggles. Beautifully executed. All right, so Jamie back through at the beginning, which was the first time we've seen anybody do that. Now the strategy that they're using is to back down through gate number two, because they want to be set up better for gate number three right here. If it works, I came up with the idea. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna let Rory have it. Woo! <laughs> that was a good job. Where are the evolution? Now we got another kind. And they're all the unbelievably cool vehicles to watch them move around. Okay, we're at three minutes left in the course. This is gate number three. We've got one more gate after this. Got cone number two. Cone number two. Oh, she did it. Okay, let's go get to that last one. That one doesn't count though. I timed out again. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh, bummer. How much did we time out by? Like 10 seconds? If that. Uh, halfway through that fourth gate, he called yeah. yeah. Even though Jamie timed out, I think the strategy was solid. No, that was perfect. Like I said, it was just that cor that gate was such a, a fine line of where you had to go, and the wheelbase of the rig fought us. Like if that had been. 
right, right. four inches shorter yeah. than the back would have been climbing as the top was up. So, like I said, you win some, you lose some, but I mean, yeah, backing that way was awesome. Perfect. All right, you heard it here first. Solid strategy. All right, it's time for the fourth and final run. Jamie's doing pretty dang good. To put it in perspective, she's doing better than some of the other competitors. I this is a dream team. Well yeah, I told you at the beginning, no matter what, it's the spotter's fault. We learned that in the driver's meeting. And they are doing a little bit of tracking. John, in fact, did make this step. So it's important for this class. And that's kind of our thing. No cones, ah! pass all the progress. Good job. Six backups, awesome job. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, that was a good run. She's improving. I saw more confidence in that run. Like that was, that was good. Yeah, you kind of, eh, when it went up, I'm like, no, go, go, don't stop. Well, that's, I thought for a second that I was like, wait, go, just give me that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was fun. I would do it again. Hey Jamie, I need your honest answer. Okay. Are we building you something like this? Yes. All right, you heard awesome. it here first. Good choice. And then I'm coming for you, Rory. Sweet. What if Rory and I are a team? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> John, will you be on my team? <laughs> All right. We're gonna take out Rory and Jamie. We'll be Team Stoic. <laughs> if you want to see, if you want to see Colby fly. A drone through the Death Star. You should check out Trail Mater's channel. Right there, they're flying a drone right through there. You're never gonna know if it went through there or not, unless you check it out over there. All right, so Jamie went to turn in her scorecard to see how she placed. They'll like add it all up and tell her what place she got. But I think she did really good. Talking to all these other drivers here, like some of these drivers are like, yeah, I, sometimes you'll hit four cones, like on one course. It was the best thing in the world seeing her floor it there at the end. I was like, 30 seconds, you got this. You yeah. This. It was nuts. And that's, she did it with no drama. That was the, her best run of the day. Yeah, and that's a, that's a tough course. There's people really struggling on that course. I know. Yeah. That was awesome. That one, the wheelbase helped us. That that gnarly climb that everybody was struggling with, Yeah. that one just reached, you know, look, at, look how long that thing is. It is just crazy long. So are you gonna build the YJ or? Yes. Cool. Both and the XJ. And the XJ. Yeah, the XJ and the uh, and the YJ. We we got some buggies to build. All right, we got the results. We're super excited about them. Jamie, what place did you take? <laughs> We're super excited about. I them. am. I'm really excited. I took last place. Yay! Last place. She is the high points winner. Yeah. Caitlin, how did she really do? She did amazing. The way that the courses work, if you mess up a little bit, it shows way bigger than what you actually did and how you performed. And so she yeah. did amazing. So her high points came from, she didn't finish two courses. In time. In time. But she was five to seven seconds from completing those courses. And so that means if she would have just been five seconds faster, she would have been like in the middle of the pack. So that was awesome. That was super awesome. That means she, she passed every single gate and she would have passed every obstacle if she had just been faster passing the gates. I, think so. I hit four cones. Four cones of, total. Out of 32, is that what yeah. it would be? Probably and yes. all, all the competitors, there's competitors that are way better than her that have been like, oh man, I've coned out before. 
So if you, if you hit too many cones, they, you're disqualified. So I'm super excited. I think we're going to build her something to compete with next year. There's a couple around here, right? Yeah. What about you? How did you do? I felt like I did really well. I was spotting for my dad in our buggy, and that went super well. We ended up getting second okay. in the class. And then I drove a rear steer buggy, and I got fourth for that. And so it was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot. So second place, fourth place, and last place it was almost <laughs> in the middle but of the pack. I had a lot of confidence on that last course. Oh, I well, did way better by oh, the time yes. I got to my last one. That was the other thing that I'm happy about is she was improving every course. She was more and more confident and faster and faster. So my last course, no cones, and I run. made it out on time. She did a perfect run, a flawless run on her last. Awesome. I always love Trail Hero Week. It's always a blast. This time it was even better because Jamie got to compete. We got to watch Caitlin compete. I'm glad you guys came along. Thanks for watching.